The anticipation surrounding Princess Catherine's return to her royal duties amidst her ongoing battle with cancer has reached a fever pitch. Now the Princess of Wales has not yet confirmed for any activities connected to the yearly royal event. While the palace initially revealed that the princess will be back to perform her royal duties in April, the source explains that her recovery is going to be longer than expected. This statement put an end to the speculation and conspiracy theories that arose from her absence. As the world holds its breath, many speculations have been rife about whether Catherine would grace the Buckingham Palace balcony, trooping alongside other members of the royal family at the upcoming Trooping the Color. Unfortunately, announcing that her attendance scheduled for June 15th is also on hold due to conflicting reports about her state of health, which has led to uncertainty about her current situation. This notable absence has provoked a wave of speculation and questions from the public, baffled by the discretion of Kensington Palace. An insider exclusively tells that they are hiding how dire the princess's health scare is in a shocking cover-up. The truth is she's very sick. It's worse than anyone knows. The source notes that Prince William is really worried, adding he's willing to drop everything to be by her side. The discretion to which the British royal family handles the situation of Prince William's wife has led to an unprecedented questioning by the public, who speculate that the Princess of Wales may not be in England at this time. Everyone feels unsettled by uncertainty. There's so much uncertainty that it's surrounding the monarchy now. Royal specialist Amanda Mata raises the possibility that the princess is receiving medical treatment abroad, taking advantage of her privileged position to access the best care options. If true, this would simply imply a considerable effort by the royal family to keep Middleton's situation private, which could be interrupted as a negative message highlighting the differences between the royals and the general public. Earlier this year, it was revealed that Catherine had a planned abdominal surgery in the palace's statement which explained that she was expected to remain in the hospital for 10 to 14 days. Despite sharing that she was in recovery, the palace didn't reveal any information about her condition or what type of surgery she had. The royal mum of three was discharged from the hospital on January 29th, though fans grew concerned about her health when the mother of three remained out of the spotlight and no updates were shared about her health. Several conspiracy theories soon started to circulate online as fans wondered what was going on with her health. In light of the rumors, a royal family rep issued a statement on February 29th to shut down the speculation. Kensington Palace made it clear in January the timelines of the princess's recovery, and we'd only be provided specific updates. The statement says, That guidance stands. Catherine remained out of the spotlight until she made her first public outing on March 4th. She was photographed in the passenger seat of a car driven by her mother, Carol Middleton. The photos were a bit blurry, though she seemed trying to conceal her identity by wearing sunglasses. With the current situation of the royal family going through a difficult time, questions have been raised about whether she will make her first public appearance at this high-profile royal family event. The royal family's website shares why Trooping the Color is such an important event on the royal calendar. It explains its long-standing tradition in the House of Windsor. For 260 years, this annual parade has marked the Severn's birthday. However, it does not fall on their actual birthday. The lively event is beloved by Britons, who celebrate the royal family. The most exciting part of the entire event comes at the close when the Royal Air Force does a fly-past over Buckingham Palace.